The Underworld 5 film set has just been announced for 4K. New 4Ks from Kino Lorber are coming, including Silence of the Lambs. And 1, 2, the Freddy 4Ks could be coming for you. All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media. I am Ken, here today for the Physical Media Report, episode 67, your weekly rundown and everything new in the world of 4K and Blu-ray and physical media and all that great stuff. We cover rumors, we cover announcements, we cover what is coming out this week, deals, everything physical media we cover every single week, every single Monday on this show. And I thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. But before we get into it, guys, I got a couple of things I wanna call out. First off, I got this cool new physical media report t-shirt. Uh, that my wife actually surprised me with. She had it made for me. So no, this isn't the, a new line. I'm not doing merch yet. Um, although if you would like to own a physical media report shirt, let me know in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram or something like that. Maybe we can make it happen in the future. But no, this is just for me, just for this show to kind of wear on it. And I thought it was pretty cool. It says, uh, you know, 2020 at the bottom, which is when I started the show last year, at the beginning of 2020. So very cool. And also, guys, if this is your first time discovering me on the Mid-Level Media channel, I do all kinds of amazing physical media based content on this channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that like button, guys. Do not go further in this video without hitting the like button. It's just simple. It's right there. Hit that like button for me. I would definitely appreciate it. it definitely helps out the video, helps out the channel, and helps it, it helps me grow overall. And I'm making the push to 4,000 right now, guys. We're like 40 subscribers away. So, could definitely use the help to get to that point. So, like I said, guys, Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below anything that we cover today, guys. We have got a jam-packed show um, that you are excited about, that you are really looking forward to. Let me know in the comments below, and let's have a conversation about it. And also, as always, turn on those bell notifications for future videos. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into this big, not really announcement, not even really rumor, um, but just kind of something that got leaked online and has kind of been making waves in the physical media world today. And you know, this is the Physical Media Report. This is the show where we kind of commentate on everything that's going on in the world of physical media. It's not necessarily like breaking news announcements, although we do that as well. But if something happens, if some waves, if something stirs in the world of physical media, I'm going to cover it on this show. And yes, it was leaked this morning that potentially, maybe, possibly, Screen Factory could be doing the uh, first five Nightmare on Elm Street movies in 4K. Now, those are the only images that were shown, and I'm going to be showing like some images right here. They're very like poorly crafted images, uh, kind of blurry a little bit, but I'm going to be showing those images right there. And only the first five were shown, even though it, it didn't really, it wasn't really concrete if that was going to be the only ones. I'm sure if they did it, they would go ahead and throw in Freddy's Dead and Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. You go ahead and keep the keep the remake out of there. I don't even care if that's in there. But yeah, it, it, it's speculated. This was apparently leaked by somebody that had been let go from Shout Factory. Uh, so a disgruntled employee that leaked these out there. And yeah, as soon as he did it, um, I think Dawn of the Disc posted it on his Instagram. Kind of lit the physical media world ablaze. Everybody was either super excited or immediately said that they were fake. Um, and I posted my own image today. Day, just one that I kind of made up of the first one and the third one that I put on this thumbnail. And yeah, I think it's definitely interesting to talk about. Do I think that it's true? Well, let's get into another little wrinkle because Screen Factory actually made a statement on this um, and they put out on their Twitter, I believe, that this is absolutely not true. This is not going to happen. They had a little bit of laughy emoji right there. So I don't know. I, I kind of think uh, Screen Factory is being a little sus right here. I think that there is something to this. Is there going to be 4Ks of the first five Nightmare on Elm Street movies this year? Probably not. Is it going to be next year? Probably not. But I think that they are starting to work on these and we may see a box set. Maybe not a 4K box set, but maybe a Blu-ray box set like we did the Friday the 13th ones. Maybe sometime in 2023 or 2022 could be possible. But I don't think it's coming this year. I don't think it's coming anytime soon. But I do think that there's something to this leak. They are definitely, even though they don't have all the licenses for the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, 
there's something happening here. I, I just, I feel like there is. And the fact that Screen Factory was so quick to jump to, no, this is not true, just makes it even more suspicious to me. So I don't know, um, but I'm super excited. This is one that everybody's been speculating on ever since we got the Friday the 13th uh, box set last year. Everybody has been saying, when are we gonna get Nightmare? When are we gonna get Nightmare? It's like the most asked question that I get on live streams, on the physical media report, everybody wants Nightmare on Elm Street, and I believe that Screen Factory is going to deliver it to us. Now, when and what format they're gonna put it out on, I don't know yet. I don't think that the 4Ks are gonna be coming this year, and I also don't think that they're gonna do the 4Ks first. I think that they'll do a Blu-ray uh, box set. I don't think they're gonna be like true 4K releases, at least until they get that first initial box set out, and then they might redo it like they're doing the Halloween ones this year um, in 4K sometime down the line, so yeah. Again, this is not even really a rumor because, I, like I said, I don't think that there's anything to it like this year. But yeah, I do think that there's definitely something coming. There, there's something there to this. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And yeah, again, this wasn't an announcement. This wasn't like an official thing. Of course, I put it on the thumbnail, but it's an attractive thumbnail. It's an interesting thumbnail. So of course, I'm going to put it on there and kind of draw you all in. But again, I'm not saying that this is fact. I'm not saying this is going to happen. This is strictly a rumor and just fun to talk about on the show. So let's get into another thing, guys. So the Adams Family, which hasn't been officially announced for 4K, on blu-ray.com yet so i'll keep this in the rumor category but um it has been apparently moved from october to november uh which is kind of interesting because i i view the first adam's family movie as an october movie as a halloween movie whereas i view the second one more as a november movie it's got like thanksgiving in it and stuff like that so um but yeah i'm sure there's just issues with the production of the of the 4k release or whatever that's why they had to move it but yeah adam's family 4k apparently moving into november but it hasn't officially had an announcement yet so it's still in the rumor category scream 4k has gotten a release date and this is an update it's supposed to be coming out on october 12th per geek gab on instagram which i always have his link down below so definitely go check him out for all the late breaking rumors and stuff so this is supposedly coming out on october 12th again no official um release on blu-ray.com so i'm still lumping this in the rumors but yeah this has got a uh, potential release date of October 12th, so I thought I would cover it. The Suicide Squad on 4K, guys, released from Warner Brothers, has a tentative release date of October um, 26th. So if you're excited for Suicide Squad, coming out on HBO Max, I believe um, at the beginning of August is when that movie's coming out. It's gonna be getting a 4K very soon after that on October the 26th. So yeah, I'm excited to see that movie. It looks really fun, looks good. Uh, Space Jam on 4K and Steelbook is supposed to be coming from Warner Brothers with a tentative release date of October 5th. So that one just came out um, last weekend on HBO Max. And a lot of, that's very divisive film as well. Some, I think a lot of people hate it. There's some people that like it. I kind of liked it. I, I didn't, I didn't hate it as much, uh, as some other people, but yeah, that is the rumors guys. Let me know in the comment section below again, what are you excited about? I imagine that you are just chomping at the bit for these Nightmare on Elm Street 4Ks. I don't know. I just had to talk about it. Let's move on to the news and announcements guys. So this is all stuff, uh, that has been actually announced. It's on blu-ray.com. So Underworld 1 through 5, which I didn't even know they made five movies, so they did this announcement, uh, that are coming to 4K in a box set, kind of like the Resident Evil box set last year. Um, this is also coming from Sony on October the 5th. For the first time in 4K, all of the movies, and they're getting Dolby Atmos as well. You're gonna get Underworld, the theatrical and extended editions of that movie. You're gonna get Underworld Evolution. You're gonna get Underworld Rise of the Lycans with Inside Castle Walls feature at. You're gonna get Underworld Awakening with an Endless War three-part animated series. So I didn't even know they had an animated series. And then you're gonna get Underworld Blood Wars with a franchise recap on there. So those are all special features that are gonna be exclusive to this 4K set. This is also uh, going to come with Blu-rays as well that have the old special features for past releases of this franchise. So yeah, I'm not the biggest Underworld fan. And to be honest, I've only seen the first one. I just remember thinking it was okay. I watched it once and then I moved on with my life and went, never watched the sequels because they all always get terrible reviews. But they're kind of like the Resident Evil films though. I I'm kind of interested though in this and I may actually get this because like I said, I've only seen the first one. Um, and I am kind of interested in seeing the other one. So depending on the price of this, the final price, I, I, I haven't even looked to see if they priced it yet, but I imagine they probably already did. I'm sorry, I'm not doing my job. But um, depending on that price, I might actually go ahead and get this because I feel like these movies will look really good 
um, and 4K, even if they're not great movies. And I would like to cover them and watch them all, uh, most of them for the first time. So uh, Kino Lorber, guys, new 4Ks are coming from Kino Lorber. And of course, we already talked about Misery last week coming out on October 12th. So Kino Lorber is looking to make a name for themselves in the 4K format in 2021, guys. They've already done the good, the bad, the ugly, Spaceballs, um, a couple of other releases, the Mad Max one, uh, they did Hannibal last year as well. So they're trying to make a name for themselves in the 4K format. And they have, in addition to Silence of the Lambs, which was just announced this past week, which we talked about that last week on the Physical Media Report, potentially Criterion doing that one. And then Kino swoops in like two days later and says, no, Criterion's not doing this. We're doing this, and they announced that Silence of the Lambs is going to be coming to 4K on October 19th. So we also covered last week Invasion of the Body Smashers, but in addition to that, and Kino put this on their actual Instagram page, we also are going to be getting Eastern Promises, To Live and Die in L.A., Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, A Fistful of Dollars, and For a Few Dollars More. So those are officially confirmed as well, which we covered those last week also. So Big news coming from Kino Lorber, and I'm definitely, definitely excited for that Silence of the Lambs and Misery, both coming to 4K in October. So those are within a week of each other. Uh, so it's going to be a very interesting uh, month for horror. So yeah, definitely excited for those. Let's get to the Conjuring 3 film Blu-ray set, which we discussed that The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, will be coming to, uh, to 4K and Blu-ray on August the 24th. We're also going to be getting the 3 film set with all 3 movies on Blu-ray, though, from Warner Brothers. Um, and yeah, I'm, I really want the 4Ks of all of these. I wish they would have announced that, but I know like do, redoing The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2, they're probably going to wait and do those individual releases somewhere down the line because it will kind of be like a big deal. So I get that they don't want to like lump it in just with this release. They want to kind of do them separately probably. But still, I'm definitely not going to get this because I'm going to hold out for all of them being on 4K. I don't, I don't think I'll get the third one, but I, I definitely... Definitely want the first two in 4K. Like those movies are just some of my favorite horror movies of all time. So we got The Haunting of Bly Manor coming to Blu-ray from Paramount on October the 12th. We've also got a double pack with Hill House coming out as well. Crocodile Dundee Trilogy um, is coming to Blu-ray. The first one, the second one, and LA is coming from Paramount on September the 21st. We've also got Dr. Caligari from 1989. So not the original one, but I guess it's like a remake because I know there's a really older version of this movie. That is coming on Blu-ray with a 4K restoration from Mondo Macabre in early 2022. So no official release date for that one as of right now. We're also getting Superman and Lois, the first season on Blu-ray from Warner Brothers on October the 19th for all of you CW superhero fans out there. We've also got Evolution coming to Blu-ray for the first time from Paramount on November the 9th. So I know a lot of people were really excited about that one. I barely remember that movie. I don't even know if I've seen it. I feel like I did, but I'm not sure. Peter Rabbit 2 coming to 4K and Blu-ray from Sony on August the 24th. We've also got the Friday the 13th 1 through 8 Blu-ray Steelbook set coming on August the 10th. And this was kind of interesting because it's also getting just a regular Blu-ray re-release like in October, I think. And now it's getting the Steelbook set like a couple months sooner on August the 10th. So like me personally, like I like the design of it. It looks cool. And it's got like postcards in it and stuff, but I got the, the Screen Factory box set. That's the only version that I need for Friday the 13th. I don't need to own any more of that, especially at this price point. I think it's being priced at like 80 bucks. So that's way too high for that. We've also got Profile coming to Blu-ray from Universal on August the 10th. We've got the Hitman Wife Bodyguard on 4K and Blu-ray and getting a steelbook from Lionsgate on August the 17th. We've got the Nevers HBO Show Season 1 Part 1 coming to Blu-ray from Warner Brothers on October the 5th. All right, guys, let's get into these deals. And we've got so many great deals coming out today. And I'm going to start linking these deals in the description below using my Amazon affiliate link. So if you want to help me and support the channel and you're interested in any of those deals, please be sure to hit those links down below. But Indiana Jones is the lowest it's been yet on 4K for $63.50. So definitely a great price for that. We've also got Back to the Future on 4K for $29.99. That regular 4K set is only $30. That is a great price for all three of those movies. I've seen the first two. I haven't done the third one yet. I reviewed both of them, but I haven't done the third one yet. Um, I need to, but yeah, they look absolutely phenomenal in 4K, so definitely recommend it. The Thing is available for pre-order now as well for $22.99. I'll have that link down below as well. It's a Wonderful Life 4K Steelbook, guys, for $14.20. That is a gorgeous steelbook. 
Um, and for $14.20 is a great price for that. Evil Dead 2 on 4K, guys, for $12.10. So I know that was a rare slipcover, which I actually have. So I'm not sure if you're going to get the slip with this one, but hopefully they, they re- um, redid them and you will get the slip. Who knows? I don't, I'm not sure. Halloween 4Ks, guys, are still $27.99 on Amazon. So definitely, if you want them in the cheapest possible way, go to Amazon. Warrior on 4K, guys, for $13.80. That's a great film. I'm actually thinking about picking that up. Spiral on 4K was $27.99 last week. It's now $24.96 this week. Anna 4K for $8.50, guys, so a great price for 4K. Elysium on 4K for $15.99. That came out back in February, I think, for like $23. Bucks. It is now marked down uh, like $8. So they, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you wait and sometimes you are rewarded. So yeah, definitely hit that link if you want Elysium in 4K. City of Lies on Blu-ray, guys, for $11.40. Minari on Blu-ray for $13.21. Saw 4K, it was $11.99 yesterday. I posted that in my community tab for you guys. It went up today to 1416. So that's how fast you got to jump on these deals when they're available. You don't know how long they're going to last. You also got under suspicion um, on Blu ray for 930. So those are the deals. Let's get into what is new this week, guys. It is an exciting week. Um, not really for catalog titles because we're really just getting like one major studio title this week and the rest is like boutique stuff that's coming out. So a really excited the week though, but there's not a lot that I'm uh, that I'm anticipating seeing in stores tomorrow, except for this first one that we're gonna talk about. A Quiet Place 2 from Paramount, guys, is getting a 4K release for $27.96. Also a Blu-ray for $22.96. A Best Buy Steelbook for $34.99, which is a very steep price. Uh, for that steel book and it's an okay steel book. I really don't like all the red on it though to be honest and a two movie collection for $27.99 as well. So honestly, I feel like I just saw this movie in theaters. I don't feel like I need to pick this up tomorrow in stores. I need to own it as of right now. So I'll probably end up waiting till this goes down a little bit in price. I do want that 4K slip cover, so I don't feel like it's gonna run out or anything like the steel book. If you want the steel book, I imagine that you're probably gonna wanna grab that thing in stores tomorrow before it runs out. That's the big release tomorrow. We've also got a bunch of Scream and Shout Factory titles coming out tomorrow. We got The Dead Zone coming out from Scream Factory for $27.99, which I may or may not have uh, went ahead and pre-ordered that one. State in Maine from Shout Factory for $17.99. Chamber of Horrors for Shout Factory for $22.99. And The Brotherhood of the Wolf from Scream Factory for $27.99. So, I haven't heard of this film before, but apparently a lot of people are excited about this one coming out, and that slipcover on it does look amazing. So also got some really cool releases coming out from Arrow Video tomorrow as well, including the bird with a crystal plumage uh, coming to 4K, which I'm really excited about for $42.99. A little bit steep price on that one, but I'm telling you, Arrow does such a great job with their 4K transfers. I, I would still recommend it based on that price. And with all the special features you're gonna get, I'm sure it's worth it. Massacre Time, which is a film directed by Lucio Fulci. We've also got My Name is Picos, Banditos and and God said to Kane. So those four movies in that set, which are kind of like old westerns, I guess. I don't know if they're Italian westerns. I'm assuming if Lucio Fulci directed one of them, but yeah, maybe a bunch of spaghetti westerns right there. We've also got Vinegar Syndrome releasing like five titles tomorrow. We've got The Lamp, Killer's Delight, Through the Fire, The Beastmaster 4K for $39.99, and Alien from LA, which has an awesome slipcover for $34.98. We've also got Shiva Baby coming to Blu-ray from Utopia Distribution for $23.99. I watched that film a couple of weeks ago with my wife. It's very, it's it's different. I, it's not bad, but it's different. I don't know if I would pay $23.99 for it though. Golden Arm Blu-ray coming out from Utopia Distribution as well. Midnight in the Switchgrass is a Bruce Willis film on Blu-ray. The Little Rascals Classic Flicks Volume 2 on Blu-ray for $27.99. American God Season 3 from Lionsgate for $22.99. The Herculoids series on Blu-ray from Warner Archive for $24.99. We've also got some Kino releases, I think seven new releases from Kino Lorber this week, including Stranger on the Run for $16.59, Shenandoah for $16.59, Bay's Moy for $19.99, Clay Pigeons for $16.59, Mad Love for $16.59, Elias Jesse James for $16.59, and A Miss and the Great Sacrifice double feature on Blu-ray for $19.89. We've also got The People Next Door from Scorpion for $19.99 as well. And this is the big one, guys. Paramount is re-releasing some of their catalog titles on Blu-ray tomorrow, guys. 
all for $12.99. They are doing 25 titles in total uh, that I'm going to run down real quick for you guys. I'm not going to include pitchers with all of them, but I'm just going to go through them really fast, lightning quick. You got Clerks, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Venom, Mimic, Scary Movie 1 through 3, Equilibrium, City of Gods, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Reindeer Games, 54, Truth or Dare, The Grifters, Chocolat, Cold Mountain, 40 Days, 40 Nights, The Side of Your House Rules, Albino Alligator, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, My Left Foot, Marvin's Room, Proof, The Great Raid, and Strictly Ballroom. Right there, guys. So many new Blu-rays coming out. The only one that I'm really interested in is just because I want to complete uh, my Guillermo del Toro set because I just got those two from the Criterion Collection um, is Mimic. So I do want to pick up Mimic because I think if I grab Mimic, um, I'll have all of the Guillermo del Toro films on Blu-ray. I didn't even realize that until I was thinking about it last night. So uh, with that, guys, we are done with this week's edition of the Physical Media Report, episode 67. I hope you had a good time. I hope you feel more informed in the world of physical media. Please, guys, like always, hit that like button. It really helps out the video. Also, comment down below, what are you the most excited about um, as far as news and announcements and rumors and all that great stuff? I'm sure a lot of people are excited about the thought of maybe getting Nightmare on Elm Street on 4K. Again, I don't know if it's going to happen, but hopefully we get something sometime soon. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn on those bell notifications for all of those future videos and we'll see you next time.